Hey everybody, welcome back to Wings, Wheels, Walks, and Wellness, where air streaming, birding, hiking, and wellness coalesce in a super fun and hopefully even helpful way. Today we have something super exciting. I'm gonna be unboxing Starlink Internet. This is an awesome new thing out there, maybe not so new now, for people who work on the road or who just need to stay connected. Today I'm gonna to unbox it with you. I'm going to get connected, do a speed test, and give you my general impressions about the whole thing. Uh, and as Jen and I travel around Canada and the US, I will post updates about how this thing performs in various areas. So uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll know whenever we make new content. All right, so let's dive into this. I just wanted to mention that I'm currently in rural New Brunswick, not my normal spot, but a pretty good spot, I think, to give Starlink its first test drive. And the other thing I wanted to mention is that I have uh, never used Starlink before in my life um, and I'm gonna do this as live as I can to keep it raw and give you a real feel for how this uh, how simple or not this whole process is and uh, yeah so let's dive in so bear with me if I'm a little clunky but let's get let's get some stuff out of the box let's get some stuff out of the box and see what's in here it's just cardboard All right, so it comes with a fairly heavy base. Uh, it feels like it's uh, like powder coated steel. It's definitely not aluminum. Um, that should be good. Uh, keep it upright in pretty significant wind. Uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to test that out at Lake Superior. I guess this is some kind of satellite dish. And these seem to be some kind of instructions. I'm just gonna set this down on the grass. Comes with some branding stickers, a modem, and what seems to be a pretty good sized cable. And of course a power cord. All right, so the only instructions I have are these ones, so I'm gonna look at them. Satellite dish, plug into modem. Modem, plug into a lightning bolt. I guess that's the wall. Scan this to install the Starlink app. So I've been super excited about this. So I already have the Starlink app downloaded. So I am just going to follow these simple instructions and go onto my app and see what happens. Okay, so I guess, I guess this guy goes in the base. There's kind of a notch in here. So pretty, uh, pretty easy to figure out how that goes. Nice click. Down on the grass. Dish goes to modem. Um, it's got some kind of a big fat connector, fairly easy. Oh, I notice it has a bit of a weatherproofing or some kind of a water sealing on it, so I guess this is um, outdoor friendly ish. Same thing with the power, it also has. Uh, I thought that was a Velcro, but it's some kind of paper. Power also has a bit of weatherproofing, so it seems like this whole thing is somewhat weatherproof, which is good since it's going to be outdoors. All right, modem, lightning bolt. All right, it is now plugged in. I didn't see an ONOFF switch, um, so I guess it's on. It's quite bright out here. I can see there's an LED on the bottom that's illuminated. But uh, the next step is I'm going to head over to the app and see what's going on. All right, guys. So this is the part where I get a little nervous because I am now going on the app to finalize the uh, setup. And um, I may reveal myself as a serious grandpa here, but we'll see how it goes. So um, I'm in the app and I'm looking for some way to set this up because it just said, I didn't scan the QR code that they provided, so maybe I should do that. Um, press on this. Okay, manage subscription. Let's see what that does. Okay. 
Oh, hmm. there it is on the front page, start setup. I, uh, I kind of missed that. I've been so used to going into the account to check on my order that I didn't even notice on the very first screen, start setup. So there you go. There's my first clunky move. All right, select your Starlink. I think it's this one. I'm going to confirm. I don't know. They didn't tell me much about it. Plug in your power cable and set up Starlink where it has a completely clear view of the sky. Well, there's a tree over here to my right and nothing else around. So I think that's pretty good. And the dish has um, started to move around and is now pointing in a new direction compared to when I... I don't know if you guys saw that, um, but that was uh, pretty neat. Um... I'm going to say next because it's not moving anymore. Join your Starlink Wi-Fi network. It may take 30 seconds or so to appear. Okay, I'm going to go into the phone settings. I think we're done here. And I'm going to jump off uh, my mom's Wi-Fi. I'm at my mom's place. And jump on to maybe Starlink. It's not, they're right, it's not here yet. It's, they said it might take 30 seconds to appear. So we'll just patiently wait and see how that goes. Indeed, I do see a Starlink network has appeared. And I'm going to click on it. We'll go in. Okay. No, uh, not secured. Sign into the network. Okay. Create a network. Enter Wi-Fi network name. Okay, we'll enter a network name and a new password. Um, We'll say create. And reconnect using your new information. All right. Hmm. Okay, it disconnected me from that initial setup Wi Fi. I immediately bounced back onto the home Wi Fi here where I am. And I'm just waiting for the new network to appear, and it has appeared. And I'm going to log in. I am connected to Starlink. All right, this is... So that was it. Um, I don't know how long that was. It looks like it was maybe around three minutes. Um, and that includes me fumbling around on the first screen for quite some time. So pretty darn simple. Let's head over to speedtest.net and do a speed test. Oh, it's better with the app? Okay, I have the app. I'll use it. And go. So the speed speed test is starting and I'm looking at about 40 megabits per second down 50 um, over 50 nice okay so this is going to be pretty fast I am super excited to try some uh, some team meetings and zoom calls and slack meetings and stuff on this pretty symmetric about the same amount of uh, upload speed uh, we'll be posting YouTube videos from from the field with this and stuff so like I said, every time we go somewhere that's um, really remote, we'll be excited to test this out and I'll make a little update video. So uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you know whenever we, we post those. Pretty impressive. It still seems like uh, Starlink is still not claiming that it's fully stabilized, but they do have a built-in speed test, so I'm going to try that too. So pretty good uh, speed. Uh, I didn't see an upload speed, but uh, 
I mean, uh, yeah, an upload speed, but yeah, seems to be pretty good. This outage here is when I unplugged it, so, and the little mini one here. So the big one is when I unplugged it, and the mini one is when it re refound the, uh, had to refine the satellite. But it's been pretty great ever since. And I've been on it with my laptop and my phone, just goofing around. So one of the most exciting things about Starlink um, is its uh, coverage area, obviously, supposedly global or near global coverage. Um, so I, we are really excited to get uh, way off the grid, but still be a little bit on the grid and able to, to send you guys cool videos and stuff. The other thing is, is the setup and breakdown speed. You saw the setup speed from a complete noob um, really quick. And now I'm going to break it down for you. And... Um, yeah, and put it away just to show you how easy it would be to pack this bad boy up. These weatherproof connectors are in there pretty firmly. I don't know if you're supposed to kind of like log out or anything, but I didn't. Um, I'll let you know if that was a full pop or not. And I'm going to take this off. And that came off super easy. And I'm pretty much ready to, you know, stick this in the back of... Odi or in Garfield and hit the road. Um, it's just that simple. So I mean, this is this is going to be fantastic. I think. Back in and it looks like I might have got a little bit overexcited and didn't quite finish the setup. Yeah. Okay. So that's interesting. So once I'm back in, I see that there is a an, uh, a Wi-Fi update. So I guess I'm going to just download that and fix that up. Oh, it seems to be uh searching. There we go. Okay, so uh, since I finished the other video, I reset it up in about the same location, but I think it had to find the uh, satellite again. And um, it's saying that it will need to, uh, it'll take a while to stabilize. It notices that it was possibly obstructed in the last three minutes. That's probably where I unplugged it. So I just came back in to see if there's a proper way to, um, to shut it down. So we'll see if I can find that. And that's just so that the dish stows itself. All right, great. And so the real reason I was back in here was to uh, figure out how to put it away properly rather than just unplug it like I did so violently. And it looks like um, you've got some a reboot option for the router here in the settings, a reboot option for the Starlink dish. And I think more importantly, uh, interesting, we've got a snowmel setting and a sleep schedule. Not too interested in those right now. But I am going to uh, stow Starlink. <laughs> okay, it stows pretty quick. And it seems, I haven't moved it, so it, I unstowed it just to check this out. And it seems to uh, go back to where it was pretty quickly. And I'll just stow it without breaking the video so you can catch the stow action. And that's it. I couldn't even get back to the video in time to capture the stow. So that's probably the proper way to, uh, to put it away and not just yank the plug out.